Scottish tunes were extremely popular in 18th century Britain. In fact, by the end of the century, there were hundreds of Scottish folk songs and dances that were printed for the commercial music market. William Thompson's Orpheus Caledonius was the very first collection of Scottish songs published with their melodies. This was in 1725. The songs included traditional ballads, love songs, songs about Scottish identity, songs about war, carousing and drinking songs. This collection of traditional music was made for polite society. It is only one example of very flexible boundaries that existed between music created for high society and so-called popular music in 18th century. Orpheus Caledonius was massively influential. Robert Burns, Scottish national poet, set his own words to the tunes. Haydn and Beethoven, even, made arrangements of the tunes from the collections. And finally, many of the tunes that are today a known part of the Scottish folk repertory are coming actually from this collection. So for this project, we have partnered up with some of the best known proponents of contemporary Scottish folk scene. The band Old Blind Dogs, who have been part of the cutting edge of the Roots revival for many years now, and the fantastic Scot singer Siobhan Miller. Oh. We have Baroque era strings playing along with pipes, whistles and an array of percussion instruments. We are so excited to bring you this unique project. Orpheus Caledonius is a true collaboration that shows the reciprocal relationship that existed between classical and folk musicians in the 18th century. This relationship, this dialogue between musicians from all different kinds of backgrounds and musical approaches is still inspiring us today.